God bless everyone. Today is today is Leviticus 4, Friday, June 19, 2020, 6-19-20. Yesterday we read Leviticus 3 and it said, The Lord explains how the fellowship offerings are to be given. Leviticus 4. All everything for the past couple of days and probably a little more is going to be all God's words. The Lord's words. So God's talking to Moses. Leviticus 4, the sin offering. The Lord said to Moses, Lord's words, Say to the Israelites, when anyone sins unintentionally, and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands. If the anointed priest sins, bringing guilt on the people, he must bring to the Lord a young bull without defect as a sin offering for the sin he has committed. He is to present the bull at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. He is to lay his hand on its head and slaughter it before the Lord, slaughter it there before the Lord. Then the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood and carry it into the tent of meeting. He is to dip his finger into the blood and sprinkle some of it seven times before the Lord in front of the curtain of the sanctuary. The priest shall then put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of fragrant incense that is before the Lord in the tent of meeting. The rest of the bull's blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar of burnt offering, at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He shall remove all the fat from the bull of the sin offering, all the fat that is connected to the internal organs, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins, and the long lobe of the liver, which he will remove with the kidneys, just as the fat is removed from the ox sacrificed as a fellowship offering. Then the priest shall burn them on the altar of burnt offering. But the hide of the bull and all his flesh, as well as the head and legs, the internal organs and the intestines, that is, all the rest of the bull, he must take outside the camp to place ceremoni ceremonially clean, where the ashes are thrown, and burn it, there in a wood fire on the ash heap. If the whole Israelite community sins unintentionally and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though the community is unaware of the matter, when they realize their guilt and the sin they committed becomes known, the assembly must bring a young bull as a sin offering and present it before the tent of meeting. The elders of the community are to lay their hands on the bull's head before the Lord, and the bull shall be slaughtered before the Lord. Then the anointed priest is to take some of the bull's blood into the tent of meeting. He shall dip his finger into the blood and sprinkle it before the Lord seven times in front of the curtain. He is to put some of the blood on the horns of the altar that is before the Lord in the tent of meeting. The rest of the blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar of burnt offering, at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He shall remove all the fat from it and burn it on the altar, and, and do with this bull just as he did with the bull for the sin offering. In this way the priest will make atonement for the community, and they will be forgiven. Then he shall take the bull outside the camp and burn it as he burned the first bull. This is the sin offering for the community. All right, under my likes, I highlighted, In this way the priest will make atonement for the community and they will be forgiven. When the elder sins unintentionally, or, I mean, uh, when a leader sins unintentionally and does what is forbidden in any 
in any of the commands of the Lord his God, when he realizes his guilt and the sin he has committed becomes known, he must bring as he must bring as his offering a male goat without defect. He is to lay his hand on the goat's head and slaughter it at the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered before the Lord. It is a sin offering. Then the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He shall burn all the fat on the altar as he burned the fat of the fellowship offering. In this way the priest will make atonement for the leader's sin and he will be forgiven. Alright, again under my likes I highlighted. In this way the priest will make atonement for the leader's sin and he will be forgiven. If any member of the community sins unintentionally and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, when they realize their guilt and the sin they have committed becomes known, they must bring as, an, as their offering for, for the sin they committed a female goat without defect. They are to lay their hands on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it at the place of the burnt offering. Then the priest is to take some of the blood with his finger and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. They shall remove all the fat just as, just as the fat is removed from the fellowship offering, and the priest shall burn it on the altar as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. In this way the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven. Under my likes, in this way the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven. If someone brings a lamb as their sin, off, as their sin offering, they are to bring a female without defect. They are to lay their hand on its head and slaughter it for a sin offering at the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered. Then the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. They shall remove all the fat just as the fat, just as the fat is removed from the lamb of the fellowship offering, and the priest shall burn it on the altar on top of on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. In this way the priest will make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. I under my likes. In this way the priest will make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. Alright, um, that's it for today, but, yeah, so, they got to do some action, and it's not enough to just uh, ask for forgiveness, they have to do some sacrifice, and they have to do certain things, certain actions, to realize their sin, and to, um, to be forgiven, they have to actually take action, so it's like, imagine if you had to do, every time you sin, imagine you had to do certain things, like, it would, it would make you think about sinning before you do it, you know? Like, all right, if I do this, then I'm going to have to do this. Like, So it's like a little punishment type of thing, but not really. And at least they're being forgiven, but... All right, so... See, under my likes, that's the yellow highlighter. God's words is the pink. I always read and highlight the day before, so I'm not highlighting as I go. So tomorrow this will be highlighted. Or actually tomorrow I'm taking off because I work like 12 hours on Saturday. So Sunday's going to be a late post. Sat no, no more Saturdays. Monday through Friday, probably early. But yeah, so next time this will all be highlighted. I would have already read it and highlighted. Get it ready for the next day. But like um, God bless everyone. God is good all the time. Even when we don't understand. Amen.